Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, The Road to 56. I'm Azade, and I'm playing as Ireland. And just about, well, not quite about to join the Axis, because after I've got this agricultural pasturing, I could go in here, but I can get, but I can just get that any other time. So I'm going to go to this, invite German investors, because that does require me to have cozy steps to the Germans a little bit. And they go straight into this so I can get, get some military factories. Then double back and get the automobile industry. And then go into protectionism. I'm not going to join the Axis yet until I think I'm ready because I need a lot more, more support equipment and guns to, to create a collaboration government in the UK. Probably can create one now, but I also do want to build up the army a bit and the navy. Does give us an extra factory and research bonus as well. That's always worth having. Range improvements that might be later. So let's need to get this first. And yeah, I may as well bump these up with the extra. Heavy machine guns, everyone. Ah, now I'm going to be the overweight. Oh dear. I'm going to change this down to a pair of heavies. So I still get gain a be benefit, a boost to air to agility and air attack and air defense. Munich Agreement. Nice. Let's see, I might as well go with Naval Reform now just so I can get the XP up a little bit quicker. This guy. Prince of Doctrine. Organization first. As it sounds, we currently have one submarine. And almost no. May as well get this guy out of the way now. Almost no dockyards. That's the funny. Well, Spain is just about fallen. And to the nationalists, the anarchists are going to follow very soon. Right, now that I've got, actually got this. I'm going to go get the diversion, get some dockyards, then go get the automobile industry. And once I've got, once I've got that, wait, this would be good because, it, because from previous testing, it gives us a full mountaineer division, it would be nice. And then I can go straight into this to get some factories because we are going to need them. Yep, we finally have our first fighter. I'll try and find a think of a name for this. More artillery. Need artillery. Oh, time to create a collaboration government. This requires 150 support and 750 infantry. We can afford that now. Which the, well, it does require a lot of factories though. So yeah, that's pretty much all of our factories because I'm also adding the civilian home guard. Might not have been a good idea. Well, that's a diversion from the historical setting. Norway has already joined the Allies. I expected, but 
Oh, it is what it is. Oh, darn. Why is this misp? Or maybe I'll encourage foreign investors and then go to protectionism. I'm pretty sure those two should cancel each other out. Should they? Probably. <laughs> Will they? Nope. Oh. Nice. I want to go to that? No, not yet. Extensive conscription, probably. And I'll probably go with this. It does lower our factory and dockyard output, but... Ooh, that's changed. Increases it by 7%. Versus 15%. Hmm. Uh, nothing here I really need. Port wouldn't be bad. Research to be bad either. I need a lot more power for those. Enforcement. It's difference to me right now. Let's see. Let me focus, I think. I buff up these divisions a little bit. Yeah, this was, I think, uh, limited rights would provide 10% extra manpower. But now it's been reduced to 7%. We thought it was overpowered. It also means we get an extra time power a week, which is not much, but it's always helpful. Oh yes, anti-air. Nope. What do I need to add? 20. I'll touch the, these guys, so it's... Actually, We're going to be short for a bit, but... Let's see now. Yeah, the Thompson submachine gun. Yeah, I, I have another mod that, add, that adds unique equipment to every, th to every country. Okay. This to make it more reliable. Sure, why not? Especially since it means I don't use any resources for upgrading them. I start thinking about doing the paratroopers now. I think about it. Oh, and the war has kicked off. Now, I am going to want to have, try and do this before the Yanks join in. Time to, oh, Nepal. Then docking rights, can we give Italy docking rights? No. Holy shit, this is going to be a lot more expensive the second time round. The collaboration is 30%. Cool. Right, save the political part. Let's try and get See now. Exception. Grouping useful to me right now, but so after I've got this, rid the economy of alien influence. No more a lamayo here. Then go on this to get some extra factories and start filling things up.
go with these, but so here's the Irish Brigade. Nine with nine infantry divisions. Let's see. Let me buff this up a little bit. Engineer? Yes. Have a recon? Yes. Order artillery? You bet. Now I'm wondering if I should buff the replace the cavalry recon with motorized now that I actually have less reliable, but we get some extra defense and breakthrough. And some extra recon. Jungle doesn't mean shit. Rivers mean Not like we're really using that those trucks for much at the moment. Whereas now we're short of manpower again. And go for extensive description now. So buff. Buff these. Well, the USSR are bullying the Finns. Surprise, surprise. All right, we have our troopers now. Time to start unlocking them, proving them, and creating them. Finish. I'm just going to go with 10 with divisions. Rose Recon, support artillery. Probably support anti air for that extra. Bullish. Piercing. Going to be short of support equipment. It's going to take a while for all that manpower to trickle in, so I might as well do this now. Of course, that does mean less support equipment for the for this. Oh yeah, very short. Here. Hmm. Finland, Sweden, and Iceland are all part of a faction now. Oh, well, the... Assertion... Recon sabotage I think might be better because it screws up enemy organization. Sooner, I think. Right, I think I'm gonna go go back and get this new schools of modern teaching, then this. Do need the extra research slot. Well, we don't need it. It's nice to have. All right, we've got our paratroopers. I'm gonna give them a separate um commander. This Hugo McNeil is promising something that the mod adds, so he'll gain experience just that little bit quicker. Then once I've got the political power, I'm probably going to go with the cultural norms here because I know we're pretty good for stability, but it wouldn't hurt once the war breaks out. And extra factory output and resource gain, that's always good. I'm starting to run low on things to build. Hmm. More anti-air, you say? Ian Leinster?
promise it will finish. Start building up here in Northern Ireland. So I'll start trying to build another of these. I need 250 support equipment. 220 almost, so I think we can do this. Just for 12 factories, but... We're doing... Oh, that's interesting. The UK has just declared war on Iceland, who are allied with Sweden and Finland. This might be an interesting... We'll say interesting. See how they, you know, they do this. And I might just get re Mountain Infantry 1 because we already have Mountaineers. I can probably use them a bit. Actually, no. Second thoughts. It's a tank rifle because we might go up against tanks. Air superiority of Ireland. Nope. I have nearly enough guns, so let's see if I can buy a few. Hmm. Small arms, 30, we're... This require a lot of... Um, get some more complex now, I think about it. Do two more of these, then go back. Really don't know why I have to use up to date guns for the for these, as opposed to new, as opposed to old ones. Like why? Eh, airborne light armor is not much use to me at the moment because I don't have any. So I'm going to save that for. Fire protection instead. That would be. This guy anymore? Probably not. But the rest of this isn't really that useful to me. Good, this is finally underway. Ready by the end of January, ninety point one. Means we should be ready to go by then. Hopefully, we'll have enough transport planes by then. Good thing about buying all these older what guns is we can just upgrade them, or right, then we can build new ones. I have annoyed that I had to do that, but there you have it. Did we not got anything there? Start a power drop until I have at least 50 planes. I mean, hopefully, enough. Uh, I'm an eight. I should have gone try and rush to strategic airlift corps. So that I can actually take up less space in our transport planes. Sorry. Used to me, but it'll get down to eventually. 
Iceland has capitulated. So, ooh, they're going for Unite Scandinavia. What's that for? Hmm. Thing. Let's see. Close to. Close to go time. And Italy has almost got kicked of the force. Let's see, so the Brits have ain't the Brits have a few things around here. Enough to still don't have enough. I've actually gone and bought some from the Germans. Like we're only getting five of them. God damn, let's take a Ooh, 45% collaboration. So let's... Huh. Can we afford to try another one? Uh, no, we need a lot more support equipment. Well, we have enough support equipment. Do we have enough infantry equipment? No, we do not. Move to the coast and be ready to have these three, maybe... These three get ready to push straight up into the up into the up into Northern Ireland. Let's see. There is one infantry division here. One infantry division here. Two ready to go there. Another two ready to go there. Let's see once we get around. I can't really do this until I have all of these transport planes. I'm buying about eight more from the Germans, but that's just going to take forever. It's just so slow. Please no. Hmm. I don't think you're right. Actually, wait, actually, I need to get survivability studies. That's long overdue. All right, that's my submarine documents maxed out. Another another month, and we should have this in the, and we should have enough airplanes. For this. Game time. Plus, Germany has more to school. I can actually upgrade my planes now. Engines will need those. Can I give these guys some? I just upgrade them. Yeah, that's a lot. Well, I think it's time I started getting towards this. Join the Axis. Almost got all the planes I need. It's the be a day. It'll take me. Ah, uh, yeah, it should take me about. 40 days to upgrade all the planes I have to have some armor or self sitting fuel tanks. Nope. Oh, yeah, we've got two 
infantry divisions on Belfast. Cancel up is anything on Douglas. It's like a very long time to get this. Steal, can we steal Cypher? 100 days. It's going to be risky, but... Mark, well, we don't need that. Excellent. Chief Factory. Probably a bit late, but it'll help get the... get that for when we try going on to the mainland. Right, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. For now, we're just on the cusp of joining the war in June 1941. Next episode will be de will be going after Douglas and Belfast. To at least help block off this entire received floor here. Sea floor, I'll block off this entire zone here. Belfast. In this world, we actually do have a claim on that. Unlike in the real world. So, next episode, it's go time. That's going to be it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.